Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you all have had a wonderful couple of weeks. This week's project is a piece of maple that I got from Craft Supplies. It is a wonderful wood and I really enjoy turning maple. Here I am using my trusty 5 8 inch bowl gouge from Thompson Tools. I love how easy maple is to turn. It's seriously like turning butter. I have slowly figured out through making these videos that I have <laughs> an attention span problem. I will often start forming the bottom of the bowl and then get distracted and start forming the mortise or tenon. And then I forget to jump back to the bottom of the bowl before reverse mounting it. While that isn't necessarily an issue, I just don't realize at the time that you guys don't get to see me form the bottom of the bowl. One day I will learn. Here you can see me using the parting tool as well as the Easy Wood Tools hollower to make the mortise. Here you can see me putting the chuck into the live center to make sure that it's completely centered before mounting it to the bottom of the bowl. Remember that little attention span problem that I mentioned earlier? It is about here that I realized that, oh yeah, I still need to form the bottom of the bowl. <laughs> so here I am once again forming the bowl off camera so you don't get to see that. This is why I chose woodworking not videography. And now back to the part that you can actually see. <laughs> Here I'm just using my Thompson 5 8 inch bowl gouge to hollow out the middle of the bowl. In this shot, I am using the Easywood Tools finisher with a negative rake cutter on the tip. This just gives the bowl a finished look and gets rid of any tool marks. Here is some sanding for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. 
In this shot, I will be applying the Mylan's Cellulose Sanding Sealer. Say that three times fast. <laughs> And here I'm applying the old Pride and Joy Yorkshire Grit. Here I'm applying the Yorkshire Grit Microfine. If you're wondering why I do everything twice, it's because I do everything forwards and backwards, whether it be sanding or applying the Yorkshire Grit or whatever. I just feel like it gives the overall appearance a better finish. Look at that baby shine. In this scene, I have the bowl mounted to the cold jaws and I am turning off the bottom of the bowl. Here I am constantly checking to make sure that the bowl is going to sit how it's supposed to while I'm forming the foot of the bowl. Now that I'm satisfied with the shape of the foot of the bowl, I can begin the sanding process. I cut out quite a bit of that. I didn't get a shot of my jar because once again, woodturner, not videographer. <laughs> uh, the finish that I'm using for this bowl is the Obi's Shine Juice. I will put a link to how you make it in the description below. I think this bowl turned out very pretty and very happy with the result. I would like to thank my subscribers. I would like to ask any of you that haven't subscribed to do so if you would be so kind, please. And if you're still with me to this point, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, everyone. Love to all.